Welcome back everyone. My name is Nightmare and we continue with the DLC. Gonna summon Daenerys. Nope, apparently not. Doesn't matter. We don't continue on. We head back. We're gonna summon this shade. Corrigan. And then we head back out because there's something we can do over there. And we get a really interesting item. Let's wait for summon. Then we head out here again. And we check out this place again, walk through these guys. This one had a soul. There we go. He knows what's up. Take that guy out. Doesn't have anything. And there, soul of a great hero. And over there. We have soul of a hero. All right. Now you want to head down here. Then you have an item over here, which is raw stone. And then we have another one of these big chains, which we can follow, and we will. Invaded by Dark Spirit Meldron the Assassin. Now this guy is different from other red phantoms. Once he gets to a certain level of health He will... will he already run? Yeah, he's running away now. And he will heal. So basically he's trying to lure you into a trap. So don't just run after him. And here we get a bonfire anesthetic, plus two, uh, times two, plus two. These firebombs, you need to be careful. They will hurt. See, they have now these this ashen coat which makes them harder to kill, but you can still kill them easily. And with a bow you can easily take them out. Now, don't panic if you get cursed down here. Silver talisman. Now, these guys won't die unless you kill the. idol, which I will attempt. A lone great bow. Yes, use it, use it, use it. There we go. And our shade got killed, which is bad, but no worries. I'm just gonna run up heal, then rush back down to grab the other items. Because now the Ashen protection is off. Mm -hmm. 
we should be able to take out these guys. And they should stay dead. There we go. Now he's gonna come back after us. So we're gonna run up. He just made a mistake. God damn it. Is he running away again to heal? Oh. It's fine with me actually. I can focus on these guys. But he's playing like a actual player, which is interesting. I'm gonna take out this guy. They have this really weird move set. Chuck that Estus. We head back down. What do we have here? Charcoal pine resin. Yeah, see? Full health. Nothing he can do against my pursue a great sword. Oh no, you don't. No more healing. Let me get another piece of the soul. And then down here. Is there gonna be more? Of course. Oh, bad idea. Wanted to keep my shield up. Yeah, figured as having a spear is really good in PvE. For PvP, not so much, even though it worked against uh, the first invader. Then we open this chest and we get Majestic Greatsword. Now, this is the Majestic Greatsword. Looks familiar, doesn't it? Now the thing is, if you equip this, at least that's what I heard, and two-handed it, with the left hand, oh, apparently it doesn't work if you don't have the stats for it, but you will do Atorius's flip attack with the weapon they say I've seen a video of it but you never know so we take out back our bow and then switch back to our pursuer sword where is it there there you go and this is basically pretty much an optional area if you want that weapon we can't use it those characters are made for that I could use it if I wanted to respec well, that's not actually what I want to do because I like this character the way he is now. I have lots of different weapon choices my spear, my greatsword, this axe, and then I have an offhand axe if I want to use it. 
I have my shield and my bow. No magic. Well, not much on the magic. The only thing that's interesting is pyromancy, but you still need to use certain stats to make it really powerful. So you can't just use your pyromancy flame and upgrade that up high. It's too bad. Alright, we head back to the bonfire. We're gonna rest at it to get everything refreshed. We have two summon signs. We have Daenerys again. Let's try. And the Balrog. Star Wars Warriors. Any time now. There we go. Daenerys has joined. The Balrog has joined. Alright. We head into the maze. Daenerys vanquished. Apparently, Daenerys just jumped down. So we pull this lever, the gate will open. Don't be foolish, Mr. Balrog. He means business against these fools. What? And this guy just thinks he's so cool. And gets squashed by these guys. Alright, well. I think behind this door, yeah. It's one of the big guys. Now what you can do is activate him. Oh. And explosion killed him. That's why I opened pretty much the gates so that if he came after me, I could nuke him if you want to call it that. And we have a lever to pull here and one to pull here, which opens up all the doors. Here, nothing special yet. Can we can go over here in this, this ladder? And now we're back to the bonfire area. We can grab this item, dried root, and now we have opened it up. down check out the other gate that we opened which 
opened up this. Like if you lured him into this room, the chance that you can uh, blow him up very high. Take these guys out. There's nothing else in this room, I think. I'm rolling through everything. Just to be sure. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, then we head back out. And cross this chain. We go through the fog, which is n not a boss again. But there are some nasty creatures here. And you will see why in just a moment. Now you think, oh, crawling enemies, not that bad. Well, they do this. Or oh, that leaping attack, which can catch you off guard. And they do this, which they explode, does tons of damage, so just get close. They don't always just straight out explode, they sometimes just try to attack you and stuff. Like this. thing is, now if I can demonstrate it, now he's gonna explode, setting the other ones on fire, which hastens their movement quite a lot, as you can see, but they will explode when, once they get to you. They should, at least. <laughs> there we go. And then you can just roll away, nothing happens. Petrified Dragon Bones. Now here you don't want to just go down the ladder, you want to go and try to jump into that Quicksword Ritual, which is an... Uh, oh, oh god. Forgot there's one of these guys in here. We grab the item, which is totally not worth it. Not exploding? Well, this is new. Oh, down he goes. Now, for the quick sword, you can go down, but you can also use your bow or magic, but apparently not. Huh? Oh, that's bad. Oh. Are you gonna hit that? Well, I think it's time to bring out the axe. She can actually light that with her weapon. I wonder what weapon that is. Looks like a bastard sword. Oh, you're not healing, are you? Are you trying to heal? That's a bastard sword. There we go. Invader banished. Now, with all these doors, there's more of these fat guys, if you want to call them that. 
Like there. And exploding. There we go. There's just one. And it's basically there's one or two behind each door. Just be careful you don't just storm in. Twinkling Titanite. Recollection. Or these guys. Stupid mage. Few mages. But... There we go. Right, should be around the corner. Yeah, basically waiting at the other door. He explodes, damages his friend. He's gonna chase after us and explode as well. So much for that. No big problem. And the last door, which will lead us on. And there's more. First one down. And of course, you take damage from the flames heading down which it's here, yeah, and now <laughs> there's gonna be lots of fun. There's really a lot of these dudes. And they're gonna explode. And let's see if we get more to explode. So for this, it's just important, don't panic. There's nothing to this. Just... Just don't panic. Now, you want this item. Scorching Iron Scepter. And... More? More. And why do you want that item? Because it will activate the the gears of the tower. Call this elevator down. Uh, on the elevator should be one more exploding guy. And we push this rod up into the other slot for the machine that will activate all the towers you're not coming Come on. You, what? I knew it there we go and then we ride it up And now, yeah, we're at right back at the start. So now we can just head back. This area we're gonna get to soon, which is also another place where you can use your ranged weaponry really well. Now, up the ladder to the bonfire. Oh, 
or before we rest there we will activate the machine which powers it up like all the elevators around will start moving and these huge iron golems if you want to call them which also act as elevators as you can see So we're gonna rest at the bonfire and we travel to the very first bonfire to just demonstrate real quick what activating the machine just did. As you can see, these are moving now and we want to go onto this elevator. Oh god. <laughs> you did not see that. Nobody saw that. We will just forget that. That was really bad. No one saw. But that's a good thing that we have our rings. So that doesn't happen. So but we don't need to go all the normal way. We just want to drop here. Then we can get onto this elevator, ride it up, and get this item, which is the painful bird ring. What does that ring do? Reduces stamina loss when blocking with shield. Very useful. If you like for this build, this might actually be not. What the fuck? Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Very strange. But, well, it's a glitch. Um, where was I? Yeah, would be an interesting ring with uh, this build. So we can now use the elevator to get down. And back up and everything in between. So, I'm gonna stop here and continue on. Bright Sir Alone. Well, he just managed to get my attention. Let's see if we can meet this challenger. We won't, don't want to meet him there, we want to meet him up here. Fight him here in the throne room. Let's be the pursuer. Let's see how long it takes him to realize we're up here. But that glitch is something we can totally put into the discovery series need to make a video about that quick and short well mister well he left guess he doesn't want to pate oh, well, well then we go back to the spot where I said we would continue. There we go. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.